I wonder if you can guess where I'm going to go. <laughs> Getting ready to go into the Jack Daniels uh, plant here. Got to take a shuttle over to it though. Anyway, beautiful out here in this uh, little town here it's in. Anyway, that's, I don't know what that is. I guess that's a little house of his. You can't go in it. You just wait by it to, for the shuttle. Getting ready to enter the Jack Daniels distillery. that goes back a mile. Wow. Amazing. That water right there is feeding into, out of the earth, and down this stream and into the plants to make the whiskey. It's amazing. Wild turkey. Wild turkey. Not their drink, he's shy. There he is.
He's probably working here for me. Look on the center block. Yeah, Dr. Sid, Tom, three down barrel. So the first thing I'd like for each of you to do, stick your hand. Stick your hand for me. Now, I don't know where all your hands have been. The reason we did that, we've got that in the world. There's a lot of snows out there. If you stick your own hand, that resets that for you. So if you're each of the five we're going to try, I'm going to want you to stick your hand to cleanse your nose. But also, splash a little tongue, oh, water in your tongue to cleanse your palate. Now, before we go on, I just want to say these cards in front of you, these tell you about the five whiskeys. These are yours to keep. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. I think we're about 90% of the emotion. Just a couple of drinks. That's all. This little town where Jack Daniels Brewery is is like Mayberry. It's a small little town. And I'll tell you what, they roll up the carpet here like five o'clock on the money I was gonna go over there to see if I can eat barbecue but they close at four o'clock but anyway supposedly that this town is only 500 people and there's 600 that works at the Jack Daniels pretty cool During when they had no liquor pro probation, I think it was called, he had no, Jack Daniels had no way of supporting his family. So what he did is he opened a hardware store. And during probation, that's what he, uh, how he survived. And there's, uh, I don't know if that's the same one, but anyway, that's the story that they told me. He opened a hardware store to, uh, feed his family and he only bought that when he was 13 years old bought a steel for $25 uh, and then he uh, started his uh, Jack Daniels sometimes I feel so small 